in order to set up a new application on the Facebook platform you just need to browse at developers.facebook.com and then select apps and here you can select create new app and insert the details the app name let's name it um, Gongo um, Dada and app namespace let's keep it the same it will be simpler and let's press continue okay this part is not simple okay we yes we did it uh, the application name is Gongo Dada now let's select the type of the application we develop so let's develop a simple application on Facebook an application the user will use within the uh, the frame of Facebook you will see the Facebook toolbar on top here let's uh, specify the canvas URL this is the URL address that uh, the iframe will render so let's make it uh, uh, belsky.com slash fb slash login slash uh, no need to specify a file actually you cannot you need to specify a folder and place um, slash in the end similarly let's uh, put down the same address just uh, with HTTPS and here we get the canvas page page this is the URL address that a user can browse in order to use our application within the Facebook platform okay so I press save changes and now let's uh, get back to our code uh, I already I have already downloaded the Facebook uh, SDK um, it is just about two files and this is the file I write now right now um, let's place the details so here in this code uh, we instantiate the Facebook class we should pass over an array uh, that sets the application ID and the secret code so let's get back over here and copy paste the application ID and the secret code okay uh, we want to use cookies so we shall leave it the way it is here we call the get user function on the Facebook object and if the current user is already logged in to the Facebook platform and he has already installed our application here we shall get the user ID here we get we call the get login URL function on the Facebook object in order to get the URL address the user can browse in order to install our application uh, we pass over an array with two elements and the second element its key is scope its value is a string that includes all permissions we want uh, the user to approve the first element its key is redirect URI and its value is the URL address we want the user to be redirected to once he installed the application so 
in our case, it can be the canvas page, a URL address on the Facebook platform for user who want to use the application. Okay, um, here if the get user um, returns a user ID then uh, it equivalents to true and these are the lines being executed. If the current user still hasn't installed the application then get user returns zero and this is the code that will be executed. This code returns a um, small uh, web page that includes code in JavaScript that takes the user to the URL address where he can install the application. Now let's take this file and upload it on the server. Okay, uh, we want to place our files here in the login folder within FB folder within the root directory of abelski.com website. Okay, so now if we try to browse this URL address, we shall be redirected to install the application. It is a new application and I still haven't installed it. As you can see, I installed the Gongodada application. Okay, I allow the permission. And then, once the application is installed, Here it is, I am redirected to the canvas URL address. The URL address that users, users can browse in order to use the Gongo Dada application. The output we get here is actually the output this code generates.